in this video we will find modulus of sum of the complex number first complex number is minus 2 iota into 1 plus iota into 2 plus 4 iota into 3 plus iota so taking mod on both sides of this we get mod of z is equal to mod of minus 2 iota 1 plus iota 2 plus 4 iota and 3 plus iota from the properties of complex number we know that mod of any complex number z1 and z2 is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 so we can write their modulus separately we get mod of minus 2 iota into mod of 1 plus iota into mod of 2 plus 4 iota into mod of 3 plus iota and modulus of any complex number z which is equal to x plus iota y is equal to x square plus y square under square root so now we will find it the modulus of these complex numbers we get when we will find modulus of minus 2 iota it will be equal to square root minus 2 square and modulus of 1 plus iota will be equal to square root 1 square plus 1 square and modulus of 2 plus 4 iota will be equal to square root 2 square plus 4 square and modulus of 3 plus iota will be equal to square root 3 square plus 1 square and it is equal to 2 and this is equal to square root 2 and this is equal to square root 20 and this is equal to 3 square is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so we can write it as 2 square root we will multiply all these numbers under square root it will be 22 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 40 so this is the modulus of the complex number z given in this equation now we will find modulus of z is equal to 3 plus 4 iota into minus 1 plus 2 iota divided by minus 1 minus iota into 3 minus iota taking mod on both sides we get mod of z is equal to mod of 3 plus 4 iota into minus 1 plus 2 iota divided by minus 1 minus iota 3 minus iota from the properties of complex numbers we know that mod of z1 divided by z2 is equal to mod of z1 divided by mod of z2 so we can rewrite it as mod of 3 plus 4 iota into minus 1 plus 2 iota divided by mod of minus 1 minus iota 3 minus iota and also from the properties of complex number mod of complex numbers z1 and z2 is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 so we can rewrite it as mod of 3 plus 4 iota into mod of minus 1 plus 2 iota divided by mod of minus 1 minus iota into mod of 3 minus iota and we also know that mod of any complex number z equal to x plus iota y is square root x square plus y square 
so now we will find the modulus of these complex numbers separately and we will write it as modulus of 3 plus 4 iota will be equal to square root 3 square plus 4 square and modulus of minus 1 plus 2 iota will be equal to minus square root minus 1 square plus 2 square divided by modulus of minus 1 minus iota will be equal to minus 1 square plus minus 1 square and modulus of 3 minus iota will be equal to square root 3 square plus minus 1 square it is equal to square root 3 square is equal to 9 plus 4 square is equal to 16 into 1 square minus 1 square is 1 and 2 square is equal to 4 divided by this 1 square is equal to 1 plus 1, minus 1 square is equal to 1 multiplied by 3 square is equal to 9 plus minus 1 square is equal to 1 it is equal to square root 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 into 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so it is square root 5 divided by square root 2 into square root 10 we can rewrite it as square root 25 is equal to 5 and we will write all the terms under square root in one square root and we will get 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 5 into under square root 5 divided by 2 times 10 is equal to 20 which is equal to 5 under square root 5 divided by 20 can be written as 4 multiplied by 5 and 5 under square root this 5 will be cancelled out by this and we are left with 1 by 4 square root 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2 so we get 5 by 2 so the value of modulus of z is equal to 5 by 2 for the given complex number in example number 2.